subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in LPI Linux Essentials. So let's get started. Question number 1, what are the differences between hard disk drives and solid state disks? Choose 2. Your options are. A. Hard disks have a motor and moving parts, solid state disks do not. B. Hard disks can fail due to physical damage, while solid state disks cannot fail. C. Solid state disks can store many times as much data as hard disk drives. D. Slash dev slash SDA is a hard disk device while slash dev slash SDA is a solid state disk. E. Solid state disks provide faster access to stored data than hard disks. The correct answers are, option A, and E. Question number 2, reverse DNS assigns host names to IP addresses. How is the name of the following IP address stored on a DNS server? Your options are, A, in the A record for the following. B, in the PTR record for the following. C, in the R name record for the following. D, in the ARP record for the following. E in the REV record for the following. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3, which of the following types of bus can connect hard disk drives, with the motherboard? Your options are, A, the RAM bus, B, the NUMA bus, C, the CPU bus, D, the SATA bus, E, the AUTO bus. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 4, members of a team already have experience using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. For a small hobby project, the team wants to set up a Linux server without paying for a subscription. Which of the following Linux distributions allows the team members to apply, as much of their Red Hat Enterprise Linux knowledge as possible? Your options are A. Ubuntu Linux LTS B. Raspbian C Debian GNU or Linux. D CentOS. E OpenSUSE. The correct answer is option D. Question number five: What information can be displayed by top? Your options are: A existing files ordered by their size. B running processes ordered by CPU or RAM consumption. C user accounts ordered by the number of logins. D user groups ordered by the number of members. E user accounts, ordered by the number of files. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 6, which of the following commands can be used to resolve a DNS name to an IP address? Your options are, aint's name, B DNS, C query, D host, E it lookup. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 7, what is true about the dmesg command? Choose 2. Your options are. A. It traces the execution of a command and shows each step the program carries out. B. It sends messages to the command lines of all current user sessions. C. It displays the content of the Linux kernel's ring buffer. D. It immediately outputs all new messages written to the system journal. E. It might not display older information, because it was overwritten by newer information. The correct answers are, option C, and E. Question number 8, which of the following outputs could stem from the command last? Your options are, A, 1ls2cat.txt3 logout. B, password for user last changed at the following. C, last login, from server.example.com. D. EXT4FS, DM7, mounted file system with ordered data mode. Ops, null. E root D2 for the following. The correct answer is option E. Question number 9, what is the UID of the user root? Your options are. A. 1. B. Minus 1. C. 255. D. 65,536. E. 0. The correct answer is option E. 
Question number 10, which permissions are set on a regular file, once the permissions have been modified with the command schmod 654 file.txt. Your options are. The correct answer is option E. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.